Hi, my name is Patrice Anderson and thank you for joining us today. Today we're going to talk a little about how to stress less this Christmas. I love Christmas time. I love the decorations, the Christmas lights, holiday baking. I love making gingerbread houses with my grandkids, the Christmas music and the magic of Christmas. I love the Christmas spirit that is in the air. As much as I love Christmas and as much as I try to make it stress-free, well, I haven't mastered that yet, but I have gotten better. I first come up with a good plan, a timeline of what I need to do and when to do it. Christmas concerts, parties, Christmas letters, presents, you know, the baking, all of that good stuff. I also keep a, le a list of who I want to get gifts for and then write down what I actually got for them because I hide them pretty well. If you haven't done this before, you can try it now. I will touch a few areas and what we can do to help reduce stress this time of year. Gifts. The wish list of children and some adults seems to be getting longer and longer, which is perfectly fine. It gives us a lot more ideas. However, when children make lists expecting to get everything on them, that can be a problem. They need to know and understand that it's just a wish list, not a must have list. Focus on one or two things if possible. They don't have to be big things, and if money is tight, they can be gently used, which you may be able to get from family, friends, or at thrift stores. Homemade gifts are neat and can be such a treasure. You could start a new tradition where each family member makes a gift for the other. It can be very simple too. I know families that have that rule that all the gifts are homemade. Serving. There are many ways to serve this time of year, and with the current LDS initiative, Light the World, we don't even have to think about what to do. You can just go to LDS.org to find 25 ways to serve in 25 days. We can also sing at rest homes, hang a neighbor's Christmas lights, go visit an elderly neighbor, volunteer to babysit for a young mother. We can bake cookies or make Rice Krispie treats and give them away. We can serve in a soup kitchen and feed the homeless. We can shovel a neighbor's sidewalk. Or if you live in Arizona, you can mow a neighbor's winter lawn. Invite a friend to go to Christmas lights. Do Christmas or the 12 days of Christmas for a family. Sometimes just a smile and a hug can help someone that is struggling. We can encourage our family to do one act of random service for each other every single day. There are many ways to serve, and I hope you will share some of the things that you and your family do to serve others. Christmas cards and letters. I love writing and getting Christmas cards and letters. I love hearing from family and friends about what happened in their lives the past year. I would love to get mine out at the 1st of December, but I've decided that it is okay if I get them out anytime before Christmas. But a few years ago, I actually sent out a New Year's letter instead. Last year was very busy and I just wasn't feeling it. So I didn't send one out at all. And that was okay. If it isn't fun for you and it's causing great stress, then it's not worth doing it. Contrary to what some people believe, we will survive if we don't mail or email a Christmas letter. This year, I received two letters before December 1st. They were from two very efficient friends. When I got them, I wanted to beat myself up because I hadn't even started thinking about mine. But I chose not to and decided mine will get written if and when I can. Remember that Christmas is about celebrating the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. It's about giving, not receiving. It's about love, peace, and happiness. It's seeing the excitement and joy in a child's eyes. It's feeling the Christmas magic. When you feel stressed and overwhelmed, I challenge you to push the pause button and see if what you are doing is helping you feel the Christmas spirit or taking away from it. You don't have to do everything. I want you to take a few minutes to answer these questions. What would it be like to have a magical, less stressed Christmas this year? And what do you need to let go of to make that happen? Remember that Jesus is the reason for this season. I would love to hear some of the things that you and your family do to have a more meaningful Christmas and how you keep from getting stressed and overwhelmed. Feel free to share them in the comments or on our Facebook page, The Confident Mormon Woman, and feel free to share this with your family and friends. And have a very, very, very Merry Christmas.